Hiya, welcome to the first proper video uh, of my uh, Great Guitar Build-Off 2021 entry. This is me gluing up the Zebrano top that I got. Uh, I sped it up because otherwise it's really boring. Uh, as you can see here I've got some clamps. I've got some Type Bond Original, the OG of Wood Glues, and I've got a, a sponge brush that I'm just putting the Type Bond onto the, the joint with. Fancy sponge brush instead of a my finger or whatever. I'm such a wuss. And that looks all nicely lined up. And then you just clamp it like that. As you can see, I'm wearing my work jumper. I think everybody has a work jumper, don't they? This jumper that they're not afraid to get glue and dust and everything all over. Uh, I say I'm wearing that for for working. I just spend the last year wearing it really. It's not like I'm going anywhere else. Just using some greaseproof paper there to clamp up the ends just to, to keep it all straight. That way the glue won't stick to my clamps. And we just let that sit for about three hours. Off come the clamps. And Bob's your uncle. There's a top. Here I'm just milling down the mahogany body blank because it's, it's too thick um, for the top. I'm using my router sled on my router to do this. I could have cut it in half and put it through my thicknesser, but I, I just kind of six and one half a dozen of the other. I just I just decided to do it this way. I do quite like um, imagining that I'm erasing some of the mistakes I made in my life while I'm doing this. As you can see here, uh, I'm just trying to erase. 10 years of doing stand-up comedy. Quite therapeutic. And a bit of a sand with some 80 grit. God, I've gotten fat. Look at that. So, uh, I've got my top glued up, uh, it looks very nice. The only thing is, the design on it, or the way that the grain has gone, looks a bit like a fanny. What can you do? So, it's not lost on me that I'm making a phallic object uh, with a vagina on it. There you go. Uh, Everything evens out. Uh, I've milled down my mahogany uh, body blank uh, to account for the top, and it's kind of very, very nice. So I'll sand it down. Uh, the thing is, what I was going to do is I was going to chamber the body to make it lighter, and then glue the top over it, and. I don't know if I need to do that. That's not very, very, very heavy. It's, 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 uh, and there will be wood cut off that, and it will be carved. So I'm thinking I'm not actually going to chamber it. I'm just going to leave it as it is, and I think it won't be that heavy. Not as heavy as I thought it would be. So the next step is to glue this onto the top. Um, 
then get my template, draw around it, cut it out in the bandsaw. I've got a new bandsaw coming on Tuesday, uh, hopefully, if Axminster uh, say, uh, are true to their word. Um, Gimli is gone, thankfully. It's gone <laughs> to the great bandsaw uh, junkyard in the sky, thankfully. There's a, a, a comes a time where you spend so much time trying to use a piece of machinery and it, it takes all of your time to set it up and to uh, just to cope with it and it's just it's a uh, I had a, it was a ship pack don't buy a ship pack uh, of anything it was a piece of shite <laughs> so I've got a brand new uh, Axminster uh, bandsock and I'm very excited about that um, so I'll be able to cut this out all nicely and then route it around and then um, maybe then I can start on the neck so next step going to glue this up and uh, You'll see that in a second. More tight bond going on to the mahogany back. And then just put it on. Some people use a credit card, you know, with serrated edges on it. Put this on, just use a sponge brush. You might recognise that sponge brush from uh, from me gluing up the Zebrano top. It's the same one. I just I washed it out. Um, I didn't throw it away, even though they don't cost very much money and they are kind of disposable. Uh, I tried to reuse them, uh, not not for economic reasons, just be for sentimental reasons. I I grow attached to them. Um, this one in particular. Uh, I really, I really quite like. Haven't given it a name yet, but um, I'll, I'll probably do that at some point. If you can think of a name for my for my sponge brush, just leave it in the comments. I probably won't read the comments though. Um, it was around this point. I think my my battery ran out. It did run out. So then I, I just continued on. I put loads of clamps uh, onto onto it. Keep it together. That's what it looked like. Maybe too many clamps. So you can't have too many clamps. Seem to work okay. Then just take the the clamps off very quickly. As you can see, I'm very quick at doing that. Here's my new bandsaw, uh, my Axminster. It's worked, works really well actually. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's called a band, uh, it's called a bandsaw, I think, because it was used as a musical instrument by the Bonzo Dog Doobada band uh, for quite a number of years until one of their musicians lost all their fingers. I've sped this up by the way, I haven't, I don't usually cut on a bandsaw that quickly. And I haven't really got the skills yet to just sort of go round the guitar in one pass. So I just like to put chunks off and then sort of slowly go down to the sort of the line that I've cut. I don't like to be I don't like to show about too much. The 
this is my Bob and Sander, named after uh, the the Irishman who invented it, Father Patrick Bobbin, who stayed with the the, the Maasai in uh, in Kenya, tried to convert them to Catholicism, uh, saw them jumping up and down, of course, and uh, that's where he got the idea of, uh, of the Bobbin Sander. Of course, he, he didn't make any money from it, died a, a pauper um, from a, a paraffin overdose. Okay, so that's my body blank done. Uh, it's looking rather nice, I think. I'm very happy with that. Uh, the next step then will be to move on to the neck. And uh, I'm going to do a scarf joint on the neck in the next video, I hope. I um, haven't done a scarf joint before. And uh, looking forward to that, should be very interesting. Or I'll just fuck it up, uh, which is more than likely. Um, that'll be interesting to see. So um, if you liked the video, uh, good. Uh, if you didn't, don't bother me. Um, so yeah, see you in the next video, I suppose. Um, go away. <laughs>